Okay, Joey, the end of the season. It's been a long season, a roller coaster season. I fair to say, a bit of a disappointing end to the season as well. Yeah, I think the thing with it is that you know we shouldn't allow the last couple of weeks to take what's been a really good season for us. Uh, you know, we're trying to build the club, we're trying to build the playing side of things, we're trying to get a bit of quality, uh, and we're trying to improve all the time. And I think you know over the course of the season we have done that. Um, we've taken giant strides this season. Uh, maybe the league table wouldn't reflect that, but you know I think that's more down to the last few weeks and just uh, a little bit of feeling sorry for ourselves, uh, just lacking that drive really to see games out that we should have been winning. But overall, yeah, it's been a long season. It's been a tough season. I think the league's been much more competitive in all games this year. Um, but you know we've acquitted ourselves well and we've carried on building throughout the season. Um, and you know I'm I'm looking re forward really with a lot of. Um, hope and expectation for next season. Do you put the disappointing end of the season down to the fact that once the players knew it, they couldn't get in the playoffs, it, it derailed them a little bit? Yeah, I think so. I think there's there's always that element of the kind of motivation that you need to win games and it always comes from an emotional side of things. And I think that once the emotions are flattened by the fact that there's a realisation that you can't actually go up after you've worked so hard all through the season, it takes an edge off you. Uh, you know, and I think with the last few weeks, I think it'd be reasonable to say we've been jaded in our performances. So, but we'll recharge the batteries in the summer. We've got a good group of lads. You know, we've got good quality. We stick together, and we'll come back in, in August. You know, all guns blazing and looking to be better than we are this season. One of the questions supporters are asking: Will there be any new faces at Warrington Town next season? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, we've got we've got one or two irons in the fire, and obviously you have to wait and see how things pan out across the other clubs and the rest of the leagues and things like that. But you'll always like to bring a few players in at the beginning of the season just to freshen things up. But you know they've got to be better than what we've got, and what we've got at the moment is a good squad. Are there, are there any particular areas you're looking to strengthen? Well, you're always looking to. I think you saw with the game today, Gary, and in a lot of games previously where we haven't been clinical enough in front of goal. I think it's the goals for column that will cost us at the end of the you know, it's cost us our place in the playoffs at the end of the season. So you know we're always looking to improve that. But I just think in terms of um, you know looking at how we set ourselves up, organisation, shape. And all those kind of things. We need to do some work in the summer, um, certainly defensively, to to be a little bit more watertight than we have been probably in the last three months of the season. I mean, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes during the close season. Hopefully, a new playing surface, new all-weather pitch, training with the Wolves. So exciting times ahead. Yeah, well, the thing with it is, as I said before, you're always looking to build and that quality side of things, and that's gone right across the whole of the club. Really, you know, the club from when I came to and a bit years ago. Uh, obviously, the work that goes on in a coordinated way between everybody involved, between the board of directors, you know, the playing staff and the coaches and the manager, we're all singing from the same hymn sheet, and we have got a much better club than we had two and a half years ago, and we'll continue to build on that. You know, it's my job to put the quality on the pitch, and obviously, with getting a, with getting a better pitch than we've had at home, uh, you know, I think that can only improve us as a team. Have you got a final message to the supporters? Uh, I'd just say, you know, how fantastic they've been throughout the season. It's really great to have um, supporters who are so vocal and who are so vociferous and how they support the team and they turned out in numbers as well again today uh, and they seem to make all away games like a home game so you know I take my hat off to them um, we're grateful for it the players do love it and um, you know come back with some more numbers in, in August and we'll see where we go next season and will the 12 weeks go quickly the 12 weeks always go really quickly Gary because it's not 12 weeks for us we'll be back in July so you know it'll be eight weeks at the most more like seven but then those seven weeks are taken up with trying to sign players trying to you know organize pre-season friendly setting up the training schedules all those kind of things so you know I think it's more like two week break and then the bug gets back in your system and you want to get going again and are you looking forward to doing some training with the Warrington Wolves yeah it'll be a really good day that you know we've got a few Warrington based lads anyway but it'll be really interesting from the point of view of seeing our professional outfit kind of takes their training and what they do and why they do it and an opportunity to speak to the, the coaches and things like that would be uh, worth its weight in gold so yeah we're really looking forward to that OK Joey well enjoy the break Cheers Gary <laughs>